Neil Battaglia, SaxStation.com. The other day I was chatting with someone on SaxStation and he asked me about low notes. He said he just started playing saxophone, specifically tenor saxophone, and he's having trouble with anything below G. So I said, that's normal, keep practicing. And then I had to go somewhere, so I left. And then he gave me a thumbs down <laughs> and he didn't like my response. He said, that's not useful. But I mean, I didn't have time to explain it in too much detail, but I'm doing that right now. So basically, the low notes, especially on tenor, are kind of hard to play. And actually, on certain horns, they're even harder to play. On this saxophone, I have trouble with low notes even now, sometimes. I mean, I can definitely honk them out if I want to. I can subtone them if I want to. But sometimes it kind of gurgles. It makes a funny noise when you play the low notes. It doesn't necessarily come right out. And I'm working on it. It's getting better. But it is something that can be challenging. Certain saxophones can be more challenging. If there are leaks on the saxophone, that can cause more problems. So basically, I think especially on the tenor, the low notes can be difficult. And if you just started playing, don't expect to be able to play them right away. You'll be able to get them, but you keep practicing and you'll get better. I, I recommend starting in the mid-range, so like G, A, B, kind of in the middle notes of the saxophone. And then from there, you kind of slowly expand downward. You expand upwards with your range on the saxophone. So from a G, go to an F sharp. That's a half step. That's a half step below the G. It's going to be the closest note. It should be the easiest to play. You're just moving one finger from G to F sharp. From there, go try going from G to F. You're going a little bit lower. If you can get an F, then go from F to E. So just kind of expand slowly. And it's not going to happen immediately. Like It takes years to master the instrument. It's not something you get in a couple weeks. But yeah, basically that's what I really meant when I told them, keep practicing. That's normal. You'll get it eventually if you put the work into it. Uh, you don't want to have like unrealistic expectations. It's not going to be super easy to get necessarily. Sometimes like if you've been playing like clarinet for a while and you start playing the saxophone, it's not going to be as hard to get into the saxophone because the clarinet's pretty similar. Sometimes certain people pick up certain things faster than other people. But at the same time, I would say most people who just start are going to have trouble with the low notes, especially on the tenor and even on like the, the alto as well. With the soprano, I haven't really had too much trouble with the low notes. I haven't really played a lot of Barry, but I feel like the low notes might actually be even easier to play on the Barry compared to the tenor sometimes. Um, maybe because the Barry is kind of made to play low notes. But yeah, I would say, yeah, the low notes on the tenor can be the most difficult. If you just start to play, you probably won't get them right away. You can probably honk them out. You also don't want to necessarily develop bad habits. I think when I started to play, I was like smaller. I was 11 years old. And I think I did develop some bad habits on the tenor because I started with the tenor sax when I was 11. And I think I maybe forced them out. I did some kind of strange things in my throat. And I'm kind of working now to build good habits to replace the bad habits that I had when I started playing. And that's taken a lot of work to get there. One way that I've heard uh, talking about getting the notes on the saxophone is you're basically kind of trying to hit a target. So the mid range, I think, is like a bigger target. The higher range and like altissimo can be like a smaller target. And the lower notes can also be a smaller target. So you have to kind of figure out exactly what you have to do on your saxophone. Certain saxophones, are, they're going to come a lot easier, like comparing this busher to like a Mark VI. I think the Mark VI is going to be easier to get the low notes out compared to this one. Um, at the same time, I like the sound of the saxophone. That's why I play it. I think it sounds pretty good. It is, it is just kind of difficult to play certain things on it. Uh, it's, it doesn't have a front F. That's another example. <laughs> so yeah, certain things are harder on the saxophone. And I've had to put in work to get them. I've also heard it compared to like a Stradivarius violin, like certain saxophones that might sound pretty good, but they're hard to play. So like with a Stradivarius violin, it's going to actually sound worse in the hands of the beginner than it's than maybe like an easier to use like student model violin. But in the hands of a professional, a Stradivarius can sound amazing, like better than anything else. Um, this saxophone, I don't know if it's the best in the world, but it does sound pretty good. I do like it. It's just a little bit harder to play. 
So if you're using an older saxophone, it might be a little bit harder. If there are any sorts of leaks, they're going to kind of accumulate throughout the saxophone. They're going to make the lower notes harder to play. So yeah, if you just start to play, start with the mid-range of the saxophone, like G, A, B, around there. Kind of expand downward, expand upward. You will get it if you put in the work. You might need to put in more work. You might need to adjust your neck strap. Maybe it's too high or too low. If you kind of pinch your throat, that's going to cause some issues. If you're starting from a bad situation, it's going to be harder to do certain things. At the same time, I don't know exactly what this... I'm assuming he's a kid somewhere. He basically asks what to do. I don't know what he's doing wrong. Maybe something with the neck strap. Maybe he's honking out. Maybe something else. But at the same time... In the first few weeks, when you just start to play saxophone, it's going to be hard to play low notes. So keep practicing. Uh, get private lessons if you can. If you want to check out what I'm doing, like on Saxophone Tribe, I give feedback to people. They send in like audio clips. I listen. I try and figure out what they're doing. Sometimes I know what people's fingers are doing just by hearing a recording. I don't have to see anything. Basically, you kind of work on music. You develop your ear, your skill with it. And someone who's been playing longer than you can probably help you out and maybe fix some things that you're doing. Regardless, beginning of playing saxophone, it's going to be probably hard to play low notes on the tenor. If you can play them right away, great. <laughs> that's cool. I'm, I'm happy for you. If you can't, that's pretty normal. I would say that's what most people experience when they're playing the saxophone. So especially on tenor, some on alto and barry and soprano as well. But yeah, I would say especially on tenor, the low notes can be a challenge. So keep that in mind. Keep working on it. You should be able to keep expanding your range on the saxophone into the low notes, into the higher notes, and into altissimo if that's where you want to go.